surface imperfections. Why do I use them? So I like to incorporate as many things from the real world onto my models. And because these maps are made with my hands, they have all the natural and happy random accidents of real life. I use them to subtly break up CG surfaces. They're black and white maps that you can use for smudges, scratches, dust, oil, blood, or whatever you want onto your materials. I released these a while ago, but I realized that I never properly showed how I use them. I'm gonna be using Substance Designer for this demo because it has the most visual feedback, but because they're nothing fancy, they're just black and white maps, they'll work in any program. So Blender, Substance Painter, Substance Designer, or Mari. So I'm just using the standard substance template here and all I've done is change the bitmap from 8-bit to 16-bit just so we can retain all of that scanned information. And then I'm just going to increase the metallic to 1 and then drop the roughness to something pretty shiny. I'm going to be outputting a height map or a bump map or a displacement map. So I'm just connecting all my normal information into my height map. Because these are masks, I'm going to change the input from colour to grayscale. And because they're realistic scans, out of the box, you're going to get really nice looking results. And when we add these into the roughness, whatever is white is going to be rough and whatever is black is going to be shiny. So I'm just going to use the screen mode to blend this over and I can dial the opacity in and out to, depending on how subtle I want these to be. And because the dust is going to rise up across the surface a little bit, I'm just going to use the same operation of screen just to raise it up from the surface. I'm tiling this three. It's also not going to just affect the roughness, it's going to drop the specular a little bit. So I'm just going to invert this and multiply it in the diffuse color, just to drop the specular just a little bit. And out of the box, you're getting really nice natural variation. And as you can see, you can just drag the slider. And this is just me just going through all of the other dust maps that I have. And they're all pretty similar level, so you can really just drag and drop. So once you have a template set up like this, it is pretty, pretty simple. And you can get whatever look you like. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and let me know in the comments what you want me to cover next. Cheers.